In today's video I will show how I set up backup on Truna Scale to a cloud service provider. To do this, I will be using Cloud Sync. Cloud Sync is a function that lets you schedule syncing, copying or moving files between your TrueNAS server to almost any cloud service provider. TrueNAS allows us to backup our data onto several cloud service providers like Amazon S3, Backblaze, Google Cloud, Dropbox and Microsoft Azure. We will need an account to a cloud service provider we like and trust. Then I need to set up my account's cloud credentials on TrueNAS scale. I will be using iDrive E2. I am not endorsing iDrive, I am using them because I already have an account with them. Setting up backup to any cloud service provider should be similar to how I will do it today. First I set up iDrive E2 bucket. Log in to your iDrive account. Then go to buckets and create a new bucket for your backup. Choosing the region closest to you, I think, makes the most sense. Give it a name that you can easily identify. Files on iDrive are defaulted to being private. If you have a paid subscription, you can choose to make this public so you can share the files to others. For example, in your team. Here it shows that bucket name can only accept alphanumeric names in small caps. Once I update the bucket name accordingly, I can click create bucket. Now our first bucket is created, we can proceed to create the access key for our bucket. Go to access keys and click create. As you start to type in the name, it will give you suggested names from the buckets that you have. Make sure the permissions you select for TrueNAS is read and write. Otherwise you will not be able to push files if read only is selected. And you will not be able to pull files from your backup if write only is selected. Once you click create access key it will give you the endpoint, access key ID and secret access key. All of which you need to enter in cloud credentials on TrueNAS. Make sure to copy and save all this information as it will only show once. If you lose this information you will have to create a new access key. Now go back to your TrueNAS web GUI. To begin setting up Cloud Sync, go to Credentials, then Backup Credentials. Click on Add Cloud Credentials. Here, TrueNAS Scale provides a list of providers that you can use. If you are using iDrive like I am, you will need to select Amazon S3 as the provider. Put iDrive as the name to identify that this is for iDrive credentials. Here we will enter the access key and the secret access key we created on iDrive. Under Advanced Options we just need to update the Endpoint URL, and click Disable Endpoint Region. Verify that the credentials are valid, then save. I was not able to change the name of the credentials earlier, so I am doing that just now. Now we have cloud credentials set up, we can now set up our cloud sync task. Click on add, enter a description.
Under Credentials, select the one we just created. On Direction, we can select either Push or Pull. Push would be backing up our system to iDrive. Pull will be, for example, if we want to restore our folder from iDrive. Right now, we want to select Push. Under Bucket you should be able to see the bucket we created on iDrive. Select TrueNAS. On Transfer Mode, we can either select Sync, Copy or Move. Sync would be changing data on the backup to match data from the source. Added files from the source would be added to the backup, deleted files from the source will also be deleted on the backup. Copy would be overwriting all that is currently on the backup while Move will delete from the source and copy to our backup. For today's demo, we are going to select Sync. This would be true of a typical setup. If you have any folders on the iDrive bucket it will show here. Enter or select the location to be used for this task. Select the dataset you want to backup under the directory files. Under Advanced Options I will just select Take Snapshot, we don't need anything else. Take Snapshot option is only available for datasets that have no further nesting, or there are no further subfolders under the folder you selected to backup. Under Control we can select when we want the task schedule to take place. You can select hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. If you need to, you can set it to run every minute by going to Custom. Prescript and postscript if you need to run a script before and or after a sync is performed. It is highly recommended to use remote encryption, you would be entering an encryption password and encryption salt. More on this later. Right now, we will proceed without encryption. Our first cloud sync task is now pending, it should be running in a minute or so. But to test it, we can go back to cloud sync. Click on the drop-down, and click Run Now. Click Continue. Now the Cloud Sync task shows success, we can go to our iDrive account and confirm it was backed up. As we can see here our dataset has been backed up on iDrive. Now we have successfully created a backup for a dataset on our TrueNAS server. Let's create a cloud sync task for our app data, this time we will use remote encryption. Steps are basically the same, only this time you need to check off remote encryption. Make sure to provide a strong password and an encryption salt.
As I've mentioned earlier, the Take Snapshot option will not work for this dataset since there are underlying subfolders. I also forgot to select the location of the backup. We can perform the same steps we did earlier to check whether the backup was indeed created on iDrive. As you can see, this time, the backup is encrypted. Our CloudSync tasks are now completed successfully. I hope you enjoyed the video and found value in it. Thank you for watching.